United USA 2020 and beyond. So here's another video update, and Angela's mother is now speaking out. The death of a Massachusetts woman who died while hiking Camelback Mountain last month has been ruled accidental. The woman who had to be flown to Arizona, she was flown to Arizona the day before a visit with a Phoenix police officer that she had met on Instagram. And then they took the hike. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia joins us live with what her family is saying about all this, Nicole. Well, the Maricopa County Medical Examiner has ruled that 31-year-old Angela Tremonti's death was an accident. She died of heat exposure, but Tremonti's mother says she's furious and frustrated. She believes that the off-duty officer that her daughter was hiking with, Dario Dizdar, should should bear some responsibility in what happened to her. The pair started off the hike together, and Angela was found dead after they had separated. Oh, shit. And she thought he... Because he was a police officer, she was safe. And she wasn't. Thirty one year old Angela Tremonti's mother is furious and she believes Finally, finally we're hearing from Angela's mom. Why why has it taken thirty days for us to hear from Angela's mother on the media? I mean I'm sure she's going through a lot, I can't even imagine. So I'm gonna be sensitive about that and I digress. But I <laughs> I would be shouting it from the rooftops if it was my baby girl. I don't know if I would have waited 30 days for a conclusion of an autopsy report. I probably, I, but then again, I can't say because I don't have a 31-year-old daughter. But either way, um, do you think this is a cover-up? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to roll the rest of the tape. Phoenix police need to further investigate Angela's death. Angela's mother says she spoke with a Phoenix police officer soon after and gave the officer the location of her daughter's phone. I sent him the address where it was. It took them three hours to find her. And when I talked to Dario that night and asked him, when was the last time you saw my daughter? He said six hours ago. So not July. By the time. Okay, so that's that's where it is. So there's the house right there. It's 5200 East Solano Drive. It's on the corner. I didn't want to release it. I wanted to wait for other media to release it because I didn't want to give YouTube an excuse, but um, it's on the corner of 54th Street and Solano. Major cross re crossroads would be um, 54th and McDonald. Uh, McDonald's and 44th would be major cross streets uh, right there on the Paradise Valley Phoenix border. Um, so yeah, uh, so she's so here the mom is coming forward and saying straight up, I gave them the address and it still took them three hours. Now in different reports, I heard that it was between four hours and six hours that from the time Dario had made the report. Uh, to the time that they actually found her body. I heard between four and six hours. She's seeing right there from the time she talked to him, three hours, whatever it was. Um, so, yeah, this, this, is, this is crazy. This is a picture, uh, a close-up of, actually on the mountain, uh, there were three witnesses. Look at my video that is titled uh, Three Witnesses uh, on Camelback Mountain that saw Angela Tremonte and Dario Dizdar. So this is a zoomed in picture. Uh, the body language in this one, this picture is worth a thousand words if you ask me. But then again, it could have just been a moment caught in time. Could be coincidence, I don't know. But then again, probably not. So yeah, this whole situation sucks and as well. There's no evidence of foul play. The medical examiner has ruled the death accidental. Another hiker who crossed paths with the pair took this photo and happened to capture the two. He spoke briefly with Dario that day. Dario did Angela to service that. Okay, so you can also see this is Hunter Robinson. He's one of the people that was on the mountain. Sorry, I interrupted the video again, but I just wanted to tell you guys that he was one of three people. Matthew or, or what's his last name? Matthew Orr. Hunter Robinson and Matt, Matthew or Matt something. I forgot his last name. I'm sorry. You check the video. I have a lot of things on my mind right now, so you have to forgive me for forgetting that at the moment. Anyway, long story short, these individuals, Hunter Robinson along with Matthew Orr, wanted to, they found out what happened on the news a couple days later and said, oh my gosh, I think that's that couple that we saw on the mountain. And then they recognized Dario from seeing him down at the bottom of the mountain and realized that his behavior was really odd for somebody they thought who had just lost their hiking companion. 
So they called the Phoenix Police Department, wanted to make a statement on record. The Phoenix Police Department told them to call silent witness. They got on the website to fill out an official form. When they realized there was no place to put their contact information, they called the Phoenix Police Department back and say, hey, there's no place for me to leave my contact information on silent witness. I don't want to be a silent witness. I want my rec- I want to be on the record and I want to give my statement. And Phoenix Police Department, allegedly from reports that I've heard, uh, did not take those statements on the record. Two, he spoke briefly with Dario that day. Dario did Angela a service that day by separating from her. Uh, and, 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 and he really is not facing any kind of repercussions. Phoenix police released a statement saying the department did an extensive investigation and that all the evidence points to this being a tragic accident. No. No, 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 the Phoenix, they're saying they did an extensive investigation. The fact is, that's simply not true. They said there's no foul play and no reason to investigate. They will not be investigating this, but I won't stop. There you go, baby. I will not stop. There is something missing that I, as a mother, cannot put my finger on. All right, let's stop it right there. (sighs) Prayers and thoughts go out to this mother. And they keep saying the words, no foul play. I mean, they're, they, they're like brainwashing it into our heads. No foul play, no foul play. <sighs> Who's with me on this one? Basing the story based on Dario Dizdar's statements and believing the official narrative, you'd be a fool to believe what the media is telling you. And that's why I'm telling you, Dario has no credibility. Fact remains... We need to start over again, start from the ground up, try to figure out what really happened. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. And I hope that all of you will stick in that fight with me because Angela needs all the help she can get. Please like and share and get this out there.